Hi guys, this is uh, Freedom bringing you another video today. Today we are going to be talking about gun calibers, all different kinds of calibers. Um, for people that aren't familiar with how gun calibers might be measured. Um, and there are two different ways that gun calibers are measured and that is metric and American. Uh, if you you might be familiar with one and not the other or you might not even know that there was a difference um, Whatever your knowledge is I'm going to explain both uh, as easy as I possibly can for people that just don't know how it works at all um, and to start we'll start with uh, American caliber uh, the American caliber is based off of the inch but instead of doing something like a uh, tape measure where it would be uh, measured in halves, quarters, sixteenths, thirty seconds, etc., um, it's instead measured in hundredths. So, uh, like a forty-five caliber bolt, uh, forty-five caliber cartridge um, would be an American caliber that would be measured in hundredths of an inch. In other words, a 45 ACP, hold on, would be the equivalent of 45 one hundredths of an inch. Um, and this could be measured on a tool like this that measures uh, to the hundredth of an inch. Actually, this can measure finer than that, uh, but to keep uh, to keep it simple um, and uh, I have a few examples here this right here uh, many people might know would be shot out of an AK-47 most famously it's a 762 by 39 um, which is a metric uh, measurement which I'll be explaining later however in American this would be considered a 30 Russian short or a 30 com block and that 30 would mean that it is 30 one hundredths of an inch and if we measure that we'll see that right here it's a little above 30 and it's actually a bit bigger than 30 one hundredths uh, it's about a 31 however when you're getting that fine when you're getting into thousands of an inch um, there is room for error. Uh, if you actually go to the store and if, if you reload ammo and you go to the store just to buy bullets, just, you'll actually see, for instance, a 223 or a 556 will actually be uh, written like this. It will say 220 meaning that Eve, the the bullets can basically be used for any caliber between a 220 and a 224. Um, so there is it's not very precise, but to the hundredth of an inch it is. Um, and the reason people do and don't like the American system is because it's very easy to use. Um, for instance, it's easier to walk into a store and say, I want some 308 instead of saying, I want some 762 by 51. However, it doesn't give you a lot of description on the cartridge. Uh, you really just know the neck size, and it's not even always accurate. For instance, if you have a 357 uh, revolver, you can actually load 380 or 38 special through it not 380 you can actually load 38 special into a 357 because a 38 special the cartridge is actually shorter than a 357 um, meaning that it will load into the cylinder but if you notice in the hundredth in the hundredths I'm stuttering a lot today if this is a 35 then how come a 38 can fit into it that's usually too big of a difference 
And the reason is, is because when the 38 Special came out, there were other 38 cartridges that were very popular at the time. And in reality, the 38 Special is actually like a 357 caliber, but they named it a 38 um, to catch people's eye more because that's what was popular at that time. So you, it's something that you might have to look into when you're discussing American cartridges uh, to see the actual dimensions of the cartridge. Um, I'll show you another one here. This is a 762 by 54. Again, that's a millimeter or a metric uh, measurement. But in American, this would be the 30 Russian long, or I think that's the only name for it. That's the only one I've heard. And if we measure this, you'll see it's a little bit bigger than 30 caliber. A little bit bigger. I don't know how well it's going to focus. So it's not exact either. And then here I have a 308. Now, in the case of a 308, um, it's actually not, it, it actually is just a 30 caliber. It's not 0 .308 caliber. Um, Again, that's kind of the down to the thousandth of an inch thing. But if we measure it, it is about a 31 caliber, uh, this particular cartridge. Keep in mind that these are not resized. Uh, this is all once shot brass. So that's why the sizing is off also. If I were to get uh, newly resized brass, it would uh, differentiate a little bit. And then here, I have a 223, which is the basic equivalent of a uh, 556, which is what AR 15s uh, and military M4s and M16s shoot. And you can actually see it is a 225. Again, this is one shot brass, so it's going to be a little off. So that's the American system for you. Now let's get into the metric stuff. So the metric stuff is measured, of course, in millimeters. And the way they measure this would be, let's, let's draw a little crappy cartridge here quick. That's a really good drawing, right? So say this is an empty cartridge. The way they do it is they measure this distance, the size of the projectile, and they measure this distance, the um, height of the case itself. And how this is written, this will be um, bullet size, so we'll just put B, and then this is height of case, so we'll put H. How it's written out is B, X, H. Okay, for instance, this 308, this 308, um, in millimeters, the bullet size in American is 30 caliber. In millimeters, that's 7.62 millimeters this way. And height-wise, it's 51 millimeters tall. So that would be written out 7.62 by 51. And this right here, which is bullet size and case height size, is the equivalent of an American 308. So as you can see in a um, metric system you get a lot more description in the case you know um, what you're going to be getting you know the caliber the size of the bullet and you know about how much powder you're going to get for instance um, I'll write up here now they make a the nine millimeter Luger or the nine millimeter Parabellum um, in millimeters is nine by nineteen that's what most uh, police forces and whatnot would use is a 9 by 18 or 9 by 19 I'm sorry. Um, however, I, I lost track of what I was going to say. You get 
Oh, okay, I remember where I was going. So you get a 9 by 19, and you know that this is going to be a 9 millimeter bullet and a 19 millimeter case. And then you have a 9 by 39, which is a Russian round. And you know that you're getting the same size bullet diameter wise, but you know that you're going to be getting a much larger case. This is actually going to be a rifle round and this is going to be a pistol round. Now say you were uh, you treated the um, metric system like the American system and you only gave the bullet diameter then you'd just be saying nine millimeter and you wouldn't know the difference between this and this and that could be a big problem. Um, but it's something that you learn. That's just kind of a learning curve. Um, because they don't make another 762 by 51 you know that when people are talking about that, they're specifically talking about this round. Or if they say 223 or 556, you know they're specifically talking about this round. Or 30 Russian long, you know they're specifically talking about this round. So even though I can explain to you what gun caliber or how it's measured out, um, that doesn't mean I'm necessarily or that doesn't mean that you're necessarily always going to know every dimension of the round. Uh, that's something that you're just going to pick up over time, over hearing and seeing um, different casings and hearing different uh, calibers. So that's how you measure a gun caliber.